Admiral Redis of the Rebel Alliance. All squadron leaders report in. Admiral, this is Blue Leader standing by. This is Gold Leader standing by. This is Red Leader standing by. Sir, those are Rebel ships. Get Admiral Gold. All wings report in. Red Leader standing by. Gray Leader standing by. Green Leader standing by. Luck S files and attack positions. May the force be with us. Long live the Empire. Hello there, one welcome back to Geek It Out. I'm yours truly, the Nate Bicer here. But out of your mind, do or do not, there is no tries on who is this for? Yep, that's that's not the there's no figures that were released for pre-order the past few days. No, 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 no. Now, it's not the 85 years of the anniversary of the Batman, the Cape Crusader. No, 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 no. The the greatest detective that has ever lived. No, there was no figures that were released. Okay, it was just the question: Who is this for? Which is hilarious because that was the common consensus throughout the community, the vocal community on Facebook, and then um, I haven't seen any YouTubes or what have you as of late as far as what people feel. I, have, I really don't watch anybody as I used to anymore. But the the whole thing with uh, on Facebook, the moment these got released, the Batgirl comic variant, the uh, aesthetic colors, and the Batman, Batman Beyond, both Arkham, Batman Arkham Nightlines, I think, let me see, Arkham Nightlines, uh, uh, aesthetics, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty much your, your looks that you can pick up from the games, right? Well, I don't even think you can pick up these from the game, I've never even seen this one from Goldar, like, I, like, oh my, I keep calling it Goldar because ZMB has got me all effed up, like, you're not the only one, though, I've seen people talking about this after, the gold or I, I don't even remember this from the game i don't remember this aesthetic from the game i don't even remember winning something i remember the prestige batman which i have that was an exclusive a few years ago where the exclusive version of the batman uh, of the batman arkham knight um figure or what have you i think it was arkham knight. i can't remember or uh, arkham asylum it's, it's just so many arkhams like i have the prestige version i have my my whatchamacallit on it my uh, unmasked head sculpt of Winter Soldier from the first uh, movie, Winter Soldier. Uh, uh, well, first, first, first movie for Winter Soldier, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. The second Captain America film, or the third one, if you consider Avengers, the first Avengers being Captain America's second film. Uh, but the third film, uh, or the third film that Captain America appears in, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, the sequel to Captain America. Uh, I used that head sculpt of Winter Soldier, Bucky, the unmaxed one with the eyes, uh, shadows, and what have you. I put I put that on my Batman Procedition to create my own little um, my own little uh, Robert Pattinson Batman when it first came up for the tra uh, trailers or what have you. Everybody was talking about it, oh, it's the eye shadow and what have you. Like I created my own little. <laughs> <laughs> um, Robert Pants and Batman before Robert Pants and Batman came out, and I'm, he, uh, here he is right there. And I'm thinking of putting the the Batman of our past and from Inart over here, where this where BBS Batman is. Anyway, uh, shenanigans out the way. Trying to figure out what's happening here, right? But like, let's discuss this. Let's go man to man, like collector to collector. Like, what's going on here, right? Like, who are these four, right? And that's uh, the common complaint from collectors. For me, it doesn't really bother me. Because I actually like these two pieces, uh, to be fair. Like, 
This one right here, the Man Beyond, uh, the exclusive Hot Toys edition. I like this. I like that. I like the gold. It pops. I like gold. It pops. Like, it kind of reminds me of the Midas edition uh, figure from Hot Toys, the, the Mark 21 that uh, is an actual figure from the film. At, at this point, we got to call it what it is, guys. Hot Toys, they, they're a premium line, right? They're growing. They're becoming uh, sort of like, uh, I guess people uh, call this a bad thing. I honestly don't because they're, they're just growing and people are enjoying what's being put out there and they're dropping out dropping exclusives and some of these exclusives are just junk food at the end of the day some of these exclusives not all of them are junk food and then you know to be fair um junk food is also uh and dep depends on the collector some people feel that they're they're the figures they buy that are quite premium or the figures they feel that are their favorite characters of all time are not junk food to them or their variants like i feel like like the tva just knocked on the door of papa howie and does let him know that the we we effed up we effed up and we have all these uh freaking variants video game variants of characters like what happened to nightwing what happened to nightwing that could have been good like look we got 85 years of Batman. What happened to Nightwing that's been teased for so many years? Which, you know, crossing my fingers that we are still going to get Nightwing. I think it'll be a nice little my collection. Especially if I'm getting this Batgirl as well. Like, I don't have the original Batgirl. And I could easily get the original Batgirl. But uh, I do like this color variant better than the original one. Like, the original one doesn't really, really, didn't really feel for me. You know what I mean? But the, the colors here, the comic book variant colors, I like that. I like the comic book variant hair. I was never really a big fan of the colors in the actual games uh, for this particular uh, Batgirl. But the purple, oh, the purple and gold, chef kiss, it just pops. That's nice. That's nice. Um, again, it's junk food. It's junk food. Junk food is cool. I like junk food. You know, I like the hot toys. You know what I mean? Uh, as, uh, as our favorite um MCU Kevin Feige says. Um, and you mentioned Hot Toys. I love the Hot Toys. You mentioned Hot Toys. I love the Hot Toys. Anyway, uh, Better Beyond Goldar, the black and gold version. I actually like this over the the aesthetics of the Man Beyond version that came out with this game. I'm, I'm, I was not really a big fan of the color scheme and what have you. If I want Bam Beyond, I want Batman Beyond. Terry McGinnis, Bam Beyond. That would be nice for 85 years of Batman 2 if they want to drop that. An actual Bam Beyond Terry McGinnis. That would be awesome. Um, we saw a few, uh, like almost six months ago that third parties were doing Justice League versions of these characters. That would be cool. That honestly would be cool if Hot Toys ever wants to drop some nice little you know nostalgic pieces right i would like a uh just league line anime line how to is doing anime lines this like 85 years of batman well well batman is justice league anyway like if you if you say justice league all we think about is batman and then of course superman and green lantern and uh, martian manhunter one one but who who actually pays the bills up there Batman. All right, so it's Batman. Look, I, I, it'd be cool if they start the Justice League line, or hell, start the Terry McGinnis line with Batman Beyond. That'd be nice. That'd be nice to see. Like, what happened to the villains? You know, like, don't get me wrong, guys. I like what I see. Right? They're cool, but did, did it have to be eighty-five years cool of Batman? Like right now, cool. You know what I mean? Like. Like, this could have been dropped any time of the freaking year. Hell, if you're going to drop these two, the Bam Beyond um, uh, Goldar Black and Gold Edition, right? If you're going to drop this, why didn't you drop, like, another two figures for 85 years of Batman, right? Or, hell, release these after you drop the bangers. These aren't bangers. These are bangers. Just to quail, just to, to quiet the masses on the vocal community. That they, they were losing their damn minds on Facebook. Like, if you were caught saying you liked any of these, you were freaking, uh, you were freaking attacked on Facebook for doing that. And it's 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 wrong. No, don't don't be that way. There are collectors out there that do like this. I like me. I like this. Don't don't attack them. Don't attack them. Don't attack their fun. 
This is pretty cool. Honestly, I like the aesthetics. I like the color scheme. This actually, I feel better than the one from Bam Beyond uh, from the Arkham Knight line. Because I really don't like that Bam Beyond Arkham Knight uh, figure. Like, the statue was cool. But the figure, uh, I'm not sure. Like, it didn't really pop for me. But this pops. Like, oh, wow. This catches my attention. Like, I love the gold, bruh. Um, and you guys know, this is one of the better Arkham Knight figures to pose because of the material it's used. So if you guys are aware, the, the original Arkham Knight, uh, Man Beyond, uh, uh, aesthetic, uh, piece is very, very chef kids when it comes to posing. One of the best posing figures out there, right? Damn, even the go even the gun is gold? I just realized that. The accessories are gold? That's gold? The, the batarangs are gold? Golden cakes, too? Of course, golden cake. Well, not really, because his cakes are covered in um, some type of black vinyl type of material. You know, for, you know, posing sex. But, damn, everything. Like, where are the cakes at? Where are these cakes? Where are these cakes? I had a clip for that, but I completely forgot about downloading it. So, whenever I talk about cakes, I'm going to drop the... Uh, the 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 um the the the, the measuring tape cake uh, for the cakes you know measuring the waste bro I, I need to uh, I need to grab that clip but uh, I do have this one though whenever whenever, whenever we're talking about cakes man that's uh, just inspecting the troops corporal <laughs> now nah, real talk where's that clip I I had it here in my collections damn wow I'm got I'm kind of like lost here. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I'm trying to find the uh, the case clip. Unless I removed it. Yeah, I probably did remove it because I was adding more more videos as of late. And I think I did. Damn, that was a good cakes too. That was a good cakes video. Oh, there we go. Nice front. Just inspecting the troops, Corporal. Just inspecting the troops, Corporal. So, oh, this is a good, uh, good uh, piece to drop in. So... Where do we go from here? Honestly, this is junk food. This is a Hot Toys exclusive junk food, right? There's only going to be a certain number, like about maybe 2,000 of these or what have you. This just saves you money. And for collectors, because remember, guys, we're kind of like in a sort of like a three camp situation when it comes to the community. There is a Hot Toys collectors that uh, do, enjoy the, do enjoy the brand, right? And they're not as um, as critical or heavily bashing Hot Toys for what they put out. Like, if something gets put out there and they don't like it, they move on because they got other things to worry about, right? Then we got the naysayers. The collectors that just hate the brand in general, but only jump in when Hot Toys actually puts out a figure. They actually may want to go into, but they don't really collect, right? Um, but then, then we got the normies who are, are, you know, just, they're, they're just there to collect. Like there are collectors out there that just collect like the normies. And I feel that this brand is the, this set of figures are, um, you know, these variants or what have you are for the, are those for those collectors, the normies that, are they just like what they see and they're like oh that'd be a nice piece to add in my collection like i'm a, a batman collector i'm a batman fan this this looks cool i'll just drop it in my collection like i'll i'll you know uh put it in my shelf with my other batman figures like there's all there there are there are collectors out there that do collect that way and i just put them all in in the normies uh section which is fine because i think uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, Hot Toys does want to cater to everyone, but also, but they do cater to everybody from what I've seen so far. They drop, um, several IPs every year of different, uh, figures, and they drop the ones that, you know, for the normies out there that, you know, they, they, if they like it, they'll collect it. If they don't, they'll move on, right? Um, but then you got the, the criticals, you know, the, the naysayers that are constantly bashing hot toys and then we got the collectors that are supporting the brand and they, they put their two cents when they have to but they still like the brand right because you you do see this quite often on facebook and especially in the vocal community that the, there there are collectors out there that will bash the brand no matter no matter if they are doing well or not 
and come up with excuses that Hot Toys is going under for years. And I'm here like, if they're going under for a year, why do they keep buying? Why do they keep buying more, 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 more brick and mortars? Why do they keep expanding if they're not doing so well, right? Um, unless they come out of nowhere and they announce that they're closing the stores and what have you, then that's some speculation to come up uh, to start, you know, assuming at that point, like what's going on? Do they overextend themselves? But then, you know, there are going to be collectors out there that are going to say, like, what happened? What about the the few years of Hot Toys? The past few years when it came to uh, the overstocks, the what the that stocks and sideshow. Uh, that was not Hot Toys' fault. Like we said before, Sideshow just overdid it with their purchases. And it's not only Sideshow that did it. There are other companies that did the same thing. They overdid, they over, they, they became overzealous. They bought too much in the stock, thinking that it would sell quite well over time. It didn't because the brand, uh, there was just so much of it. Like, card games did it. Video games did it. Everybody did it. It was not only the collecting once a scale line. Uh, it was also other toy companies that did it. There are toy brands out there that have stock since two or three years ago during the pandemic because they thought that the numbers weren't as inflated, but they are. They were. We find we come to find out the numbers were inflated because these numbers did not match the the actual collectors that are going in for this for these brands because these are uh, most of these people. Like uh, like we we experienced it. We're stuck at home, and we're trying to come up with hobbies, either collecting hobbies, video game hobbies. Now, since we're back, uh, at, uh, with the way things were, well, a lot more worse because of inflation. People out there don't have, even have the time for these hobbies, right? But either way, everyone's done it. Everyone has done it. It's not only Hot Toys that that does have. Um, stock still out there in dead stock out there in the uh, out there in the world because uh, most of these companies did overinflate when they over purchased like Sideshow did. Anyway, uh, well, that's another discussion for another day, and we've discussed this before uh, already. But either way, is this our a do or do not? What is it? It's a do for me. But it's uh, the Batman Beyond Goldar Black and Gold Edition version. It's a do not for collectors that are not wanting to pick up a variant of a Batman Beyond aesthetic from the game. Like, if you have the original one, why do you have to pick up the, the, the newest one? Unless you're that type of collector that wants to carry variants in your collection. Which is fine, too. It's just fine, too. Uh, uh, from what I can tell, there are collectors out there that are not happy with this. Because what happened to the Terry McGinnis? This is 85 years of Batman. We're getting a, we're getting 85 years of variants that that oh, don't even exist. That don't even exist, right? 85 years of Batman. Well, people were expecting possibly the uh, 92 Batman. People were expecting possibly the our passive Batmobile, like the Flex. 85 years of Batman. Maybe the original um uh the the original uh Batman right I, it's it's just very weird it's, it's very weird to me but it, it actually it's not weird you know why it's not weird because hot toys has done this before they're not on the brand for 80 for any anniversaries like look what happened to han solo and chewbacca we got those figures after the what 40th anniversary return of the jedi a year after pre-orders they dropped the ball on the 40th uh return of jedi year they dropped the ball on the 40th empire strikes back here because we only got variants we got variants of the character they just released a year ago a year ago and these were just re-released with different packagings like i i do i have them i have the uh, like i didn't pick up the darth vader original empire strikes back but you know why you know why i picked up the anniversary box set, right? The anniversary box set of Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. And I picked up the vintage Boba Fett from the anniversary year of Empire Strikes Back. Right? And that's another thing, too, that Hot Toys likes to 
to um, you know attack this attack the niche of anniversary lines, anniversary packagings, and they they try their best to to do variants that they are they they can possibly you know milk. Right, and it's not only Hot Toys. Other companies do this. All right, we gotta accept the fact that Hot Toys is not the company they once were. Right, they're becoming sort of like the people like to say the Marvel Legends or Star Wars Black series of Hot uh, of the once a scale collecting collecting hobby. Right, the premium lines. Isn't that? It's not a bad thing though. It's not like I don't collect like when I was collecting Black Series or Marvel Marvel Legends at the time, I wasn't collecting every Black Series figure. I wasn't collecting every Marvel Legends, right? Like I was picking what I liked. And there are collectors out there like the normies that will buy every Black Series, right? Or uh, actually more that's more than normies. That's more that's uh, well, Hot Toys will try their best to capture normies to you know whenever whenever companies do want to capture the normies because normies they're the ones that are much more numerous than your actual collectors right because um even though collectors are uh, are quite numbered the thing is compared to normies we're we're the bottom of the barrel but we put out the the most when it comes we have put out the most when it comes to our credit cards ready to ready with the credit card to swipe in for for collecting uh, for collecting figures but we're so uh we're not as numerous as normies right but i do apologize my my eyes are uh sweating it out like no tomorrow <laughs> but but either way there are there are there are normies out there that will buy in these access these 85 years of batman these exclusives because um they, this, they they like the the anniversary packaging right they're not gonna they're not gonna go and listen to youtubers or videos on how collectors feel about certain pieces because they don't even have time they just want to collect the figure put it in their display case and call it a day you know how many collectors like the numbers of collectors that that collect hot toys or collects once to scale figures don't you it's crazy the, it's crazy to think that there are collectors out there that the majority of collectors that buy into hot toys or buy into once to collecting to begin with don't even don't even participate in the communities because they don't got time they don't even participate on the youtube front because they don't got time for that she just got time to work uh, spend time with the family and buy figures and then put them on display right so at the end of the day what i'm what i'm trying to say with this piece don't get too hasty guys don't get too hasty there's more to come but Again, we got to be patient. And this if it's not for you, then don't worry about it. Move on. Save money. You're saving money. You're saving money. Congratulations. You're saving money. All right? This is not for you. It's not, uh, but I'm not saving money because I'm going to pick up this one. Uh, I do like the the Goldar-like uh, black and gold edition of this Batman, even though it's it doesn't make no damn sense. Why? Batman is rocking the gold. Like I never like I never seen oh my god, all the accessories are gold. The base is gold, the weapons are gold. Dear god, metallic gold color, multiple shades, everything is gold. Uh no golden cakes though. Uh it's just vinyl cakes. Ah, uh, man, that could have been good. I do like oh man, the gold does pop though. Like can you imagine this being your display and the gold is just popping with all these golden Wow that's crazy all the gold in the world bro wow that's pretty cool like uh, that's pretty cool like i'm not dude <laughs> all the gold this is a cool little piece so this is this will be coming home is absolute doom um now if i did have the original band beyond figure i probably would have said no to this because i already had the band beyond uh figure uh, from Hot Toys, the original one, uh, the, the the red and black one, of, yeah. So uh, the actual red and black one with the vinyl and all that. But this one's gonna be posed posed like the best. It's gonna pose pretty much like the best of them, like the the one the original Band Beyond. So this one's coming home. This is a do for me. It's a do not if um, this is not your cup of tea, of course. Because honestly, if the only reason why you're probably buying this is because of the FOMO, 
because it's, it's a limited edition it's a hot toys exclusive 85 years packaging exclusive just just do not on this because honestly you're probably just gonna buy this and hold it to see if you can flip it and the and uh the flipping game has not been doing so well with some of these uh exclusives some of these especially this this is just a, a colored variant this i don't think this is gonna do well exclusive wise as far as like uh uh, reissue because if this is anything like the triple zero shenanigans triple zero is not doing well in the market right now on ebay and this is pretty much a trip this is and triple zero is just a variant of c3po's color colorway there you go that's the one i was looking for colorway so the band beyond golden colorway is just band beyond just colored gold so i don't think this is going to do well um as a color variant most most variants don't do well to be honest so on the market like the vintage bowl fit uh it was doing sort of okay in the aftermarket but honestly uh the only one that really is doing well is the anime bowl fit but the thing is the anime bowl fit has history in in the original christmas special of star wars that has history in the anime christmas special so this one I don't remember when Batman was rocking gold, but anyway, uh, it's a do for me. Do not for most of y'all. Just skip this. Just skip this. Just skip this. The normies are going to eat this up, of course. And then the scalpers trying to flip it. All right. So let's move on to our next do or do not. And it is the Batgirl. Absolutely a do. This is one of my favorite do's right here. 30 years of Sideshow. Man, Batman, 85 years as well. Like, man, this, you know what would have been cool? If this one was paired with the with uh, Nightwing. Like, forget about the golden band beyond, all right? The color wave. If this was paired with Nightwing, people would not have lost their damn minds with this piece over here. Or any of the pieces that came out for 85 years of Batman, right? But look, damn. Damn. Mommy's still looking good. Mommy's still looking good. I was talking to Carlito the other day, and he says that he loves his... Uh, original Batgirl and I'm like I don't have the original Batgirl and I could easily pick her up like she's uh, she that easy available to pick up like the band beyond uh original one from Arkham Knight so this is absolute do for me it's an absolute do for you though why would you pick this up why well one if uh you're a Batgirl aficionado you want to have a background in your collection then yeah or or you want to have different variants of the Batgirl in your collection. That's also a good thing, too. But if you already have the original one, the only reason why you buy most likely be probably picking this up because of the colorway. Because this is the original colorways from the comics, which I do enjoy. Uh, I do enjoy the black and gold over the black, uh, the, the, the full on black and gold accents from the original one. I actually prefer this one over the original one because of the colorway. I think the colorway is cool. Um, still the same piece. There's no, this is not 2.0. There's no upgrades to her, right? Uh, still the same piece uh, going forward. So there's not really much for you uh, collecting wise, unless uh, you really like the original, um, unless you really like the original colorway for Batgirl. And I, I do like this. I do like this one. I do. I do prefer this one over the original one so um and uh that's about it honestly and uh, the absolute do it's absolute there's not really much to talk about here right not is it not really much to talk about when it comes to these hot toys that just got released for pre-order because these are junk food these are pretty much junk food so this is just another set of pieces you can just wave goodbye to because again of course hot toys is out of their they're out of their damn minds why would you release this set of colorways for 85 years of batman when we got other priorities for batman dc right that, i think that's why people are mad right now is the fact that collect that collectors have been waiting for certain pieces right and we're getting colorways of variants that people did not want like uh, that's that's the gif of it right and i feel that uh they should have prioritized the the bangers first then move on to some of the colorways throw those mix those in 
So if you guys are interested, the 85 years of Batgirl, <laughs> 85 years of Bat, 85 years of Batman with the Batgirl purple and gold color wave will be available for pre-order this Friday, right? And uh, what was the time on that Friday? Uh, maybe 12 p.m. Eastern time or 1 p.m. Eastern time. I forget. It's it's all over the place when it comes to it's on the coming soon page. I'll probably leave the links down below for you to look them up if you are interested. The coming suit page on that piece. I actually, you know what? Let me just pull it up for y'all. Because I also want to pull up. Um, so that's another thing too, guys. The exclusives have been selling out because they are they are they are um, limited to a certain number, and collectors are buying them. Um, I know collectors were complaining that certain pieces were selling out, uh, uh, selling out, uh, taking a little bit longer to sell out. Uh, within a day or two versus a few hours like the original uh, original sideshow uh, Q system figures right this will be a sideshow Q system figure uh, I think it won't I think it uh, only lasts for a day maybe two because most collectors already have the original one and they do want to pick up more uh they if they want to pick up a Batgirl they just want to pick up the original one but this one will probably you know Take take a take uh, a, a few days, um, possibly a day. I will be picking it up though. Like I'm not gonna play games uh, with this piece. I do like the exclusivity of this colorway though. And uh, here she is. Here's the, here they are, both of them. I'll probably leave a link for you guys right there. So coming soon. Band Beyond nothing yet because this one is supposed to be released this Friday at HK, right? So. They don't, I, I don't think Hot, I think um, Sideshow will prioritize this after the release from HK. Then Bat, then Batgirl, she actually gets a date. Friday, September 20th, RSVP, how to see the updates and blah, blah, blah. So there's no time on this. So most likely it would be 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern, maybe two, maybe 4 p.m. Eastern, and maybe a little later. So if you guys want to uh, go in, here, here she is right there. And then the, what else? Okay, here we go. Uh, no time yet on this one. Once this girl figure, DC Comics, blah, blah, blah. Black and gold version, gold art didn't. Yeah, no, no times in this one or dates. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I know uh, we've been wanting certain pieces from Hot Toys for latter part of freaking, what, forever when it comes to DC uh and we're we're hoping that 85 years of batman might deliver it there's been talks of rumors of certain pieces like your rooted hair um rooted, rooted hair hardy quinn like the not the rooted hair the artisan edition version of hardy quinn uh possible batman releases you know it's well we will have to wait and see All right guys we'll have to wait and see keep the face strong and if they don't drop what we like we just move on to the next one, save our money, and see what Hot Toys drops for the next one. Uh, I was talking to V the other day, and V was surprised, like, uh, with uh, certain pieces being released, right? What's what's going on with Hot Toys, man? What, like, why drop this for 85 years of Batman? And I'm here like, uh, V, when has Hot Toys ever delivered right with anniversaries? Like, it takes literally a year or two to deliver right with Hot Toys. Han Solo was a year after Return of Jedi 40th Anniversary Edition. that And that was Return of Jedi Han Solo, which would have been great for 40th Anniversary packaging. Right? The only one that did very well um, with the anniversary was, from my recollection, was Attack of the Clones. And Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace is doing very well, but the thing is we released most of these figures from Phantom Menace. And I still think we got one more two figures that they could drop for Phantom Menace. To deliver a a banger of an anniversary, I think Attack of Clones is still king when it comes to anniversary edition lines, uh, because of the amount of figures we got for the anniversary of Attack of Clones. Um, Phantom Menace, though, most of these figures have already been out and released already, so the the ones that we are wanting to see from Phantom Menace is Padawan Kenobi, right? Uh, Jar Jar Binks. I know there are Jar Jar Binks fans out there. I am too. So get my Darth Jar Jar in. Um, 
Is there any others from Phantom Man? Oh, Little Annie, Little Annie, if they ever do it, right? Little Anakin with his pod racer would be freaking cool. And, and the pod racer ain't that big compared to, uh, like, it's about the size of a dewback from, from certain shots. Like, if, when you look at photos, it's only a little bit longer pause on the pod racer to the dewback. If they could do the dewback, they could do the pod racer, right? So, Anakin pod racer. So, there is a possibility they can really, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, deliver on the Anakin Skywalker. That'd be pretty cool. Anakin Skywalker, 20th anniversary of Phantom Menace with the, um, oh no, 25th anniversary. I keep thinking, wait a minute, that's 20th anniversary, 25th anniversary. Yeah, so that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. And little Anakin with the pod racer. And even if we don't see it, Hot Toys did pretty, very well with the Phantom Menace, uh, 25th anniversary line. And it looks like they're gonna keep they're gonna keep dropping more. Tad of clones, there's still room to grow. I'm crossing my fingers on Jesus Kenobi because the Kenobi from Kenobi show was Chef Kiss. I would love to see that much uh that much dedication and love to that figure they did to pretty much go from zero to hero and put that same energy on a freaking 20th anniversary of Tad of Clones. Well, we passed 20th anniversary. Jesus Kenobi Artisan Edition. But Again, guys, Hot Toys, they, they they drop the ball most of the time when it comes to anniversaries. Uh, and we only see these anniversary bangers a year after. So, so they're probably going to be the same thing with 85 years of Batman. They'll probably drop a few variants. They'll probably drop one or two bangers, possibly. Maybe just one banger. And it's probably going to be the Harley Quinn, which I want to do a video on. I want to do a video on discussion on the list of... Um, the list of rumors for the for the next few months of hot toys so there's a list out there the pretty much a graph from an instagram uh, uh collector or influencer so I'll, i'm gonna look that up and then probably do a video on it and discuss my thoughts on that because so far it's been hitting the nail on most of those uh rumors so i'm crossing my fingers on that harley quindo artist because i don't have a harley quinn so that'd be a nice little piece to throw in for 85 years of batman so all right guys thank you for watching remember we're just simple collectors trying to make our way in this freaking galaxy and made a weapon with you always and also guys if if you're not happy with this set of figures don't ruin it for somebody else there are probably collectors out there that are enjoying this uh set of variants okay they're enjoying their junk food they're enjoying their tva junk food let them let them all right i'm gonna do my thing i'm gonna enjoy what i enjoy i don't like it i'll just um move on save my money and pick up the next figure that probably hot toys will pretty much uh drain my wallets with like buy and sell buy and sell dear lord <laughs> you know how much i sacrifice <laughs> not like this you know how much i sacrifice I am never going to financially recover from this. My anger, my ego, my unwillingness to yield, my, my eagerness to fight, has set me on a path from which there's no escape. I yearn to be a savior against injustice without contemplating the cost, and by the time I look down, there's no longer any ground beneath my feet. What is my, what is my sacrifice? I'm condemned to use the tools of my enemy to defeat them. I burn my decency for someone else's future. I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. Now the ego that started this fight will never have a, a mirror or an audience or, or the light of gratitude. So what do I sacrifice? Everything! Everything.